I like to just set it up, kind of support it, get it out of the way, so you don't put any strain on the hose. Okay, I just want you guys to see to get the assembly off pull this thing off it's kind of tricky to get back in there but you got a bolt that comes straight hopefully you guys can see that it comes straight down and through here get a better angle so it comes straight into here so you have to bring your socket and an extension or whatever back through here to kind of get it to get it out and then the bottom one down here is the same you have you have this hole right here where it will be able to get you to the the bolt on the back hopefully you can see that and it's not blurry but you got to pull these two bolts off to pull this off sorry for the camera be back Okay, now that you got this off, the tricky part is to get your rotor off. And the thing with the rotor is back here, like this one, is super corroded, super seized. So grab some WD-40 and just spray it everywhere. Just try to get it every which way you can. You got these little uh, holes that you can shove a bolt through and just start threading the bolt on. Just be careful not to strip it. This one kind of broke a little bit. And now you're just gonna wanna just try to separate it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit to get it to separate. but it will come off. It just takes a little bit. There you go. It's the inside. It's actually a lot of brake dust, a lot of corrosion. I would uh, suggest buying a can of brake cleaner, but we are gonna re be replacing these guys right here. So let me get that set up and I'll be back. Okay, to replace them, you need to pull this spring off. Then you undo these guys. Then 
have some springs up here you gotta pull off. And I would suggest taking pictures. If you're not gonna remember how, or just have my video pulled up. Let me get you to a better angle. There you go. You got this clip in the back. I don't know if you could see that. We're going to have to pull this off so we can transfer it to this is your emergency line. This is where it pulls pulls on. This is at the bottom. This is where you adjust it. So right now it's about that far away. So every turn you do, you're gonna want to do equal on the other side. So we'll keep that like that and then we'll get over there in a little bit. Just want to squish them together. If you can see that, squish it together so it won't move. It's gonna sit in like this. Okay. So what I like to do is. Kind of, well, I went off camera, kind of like to get it all looked at, think about, instead of trying to talk about it. Why I'm thinking, you got this spring that comes off, slides onto there. This goes underneath here, connects there. You could take this piece that you screwed off, the little flathead. Put, the, put it in, kind of get it into place. This will go right here. You have, I'm just gonna have to mess with it just until you can get it in there properly. Just take your time. I mean, I've even done this multiple times and I just like taking my time going slow make sure I get it right
Okay, now that we have that on, everything in the right place. You gotta come. Sorry about that. Now you have this piece. So like that and then this is where you would lift up and kind of count how many times it fits back and then I'm gonna want to do that to the other side and count how many times I've turned it and then that's how you adjust your emergency brake. I will go do that off camera and then when I get ready to assemble I'll be back. Okay so I've adjusted this side and uh, this has been the side I've been working on. And I adjusted this side too. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of shadowed. So now, take your brake cleaner. Okay, got the other side adjusted. So now, Take your brake brake cleaner. One last spray. You can even spray. It doesn't hurt to just spray it, keep it clean. There we go. Getting these put on. You can see the distinctness of the two. These are for the housing. These will screw into here. And these other ones screw into here to hold the caliper on. This part's kind of a pain, so. Okay, once brakes, 
usually like putting the squeaker in the back. This part, if you were to actually replace your pads, I usually use an old pad and put it here, grab a vice grip, just squeeze it in to make that flush, and then your new pads will, will fit. Since these are old pads, they already fit. Okay, that is it. Let me pull this off. That is it. To change your drum brakes for your emergency brake, you can replace your regular brakes for your rear, your rotor, and how to adjust your uh, emergency brake experience for you guys. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my video and hope that this helps if you ever need to replace your uh, rear drum brakes or your pads, rotor, any part or even to adjust your emergency brake. Uh, hope this was informative and helpful. Please leave any, any uh, questions or comments down below. Please like, subscribe if you like my channel and there will be more to come. Thanks so much for your support and hope to continue to bring more videos to you. Thanks.